Hello everyone, this is Castra. I hope you're doing well. Uh, today I want to talk about the architectural uh, drawings and uh, actually in my other videos uh, I'm gonna show how to draw them but now uh, I only want to talk about that uh, what are these drawings and I have this uh, small scale house and uh, I'm going to show you uh, what are the other architectural uh, drawings uh, on this model. And uh, so I start with the name of the uh, drawings that we need to know. First one is the floor plan. The other one is elevation. the section so these are the drawings that uh, I want to explain about for the beginning uh, first of all I have this house and I want to show them in uh, on the paper so this one is a, a 3d model uh, three-dimensional one but I need to show them on a two-dimensional paper so I need to uh, find the two-dimensional drawings first of all uh, let's uh, talk about the floor plan so what is floor plan floor plan is a uh, you know uh, drawing that uh, we are looking from the top of the building and uh, how it's done is that uh, for example uh, let's uh, just consider this one this is a plane that I'm gonna cut the building like this way and this plane cuts this building and then I will uh, draw my uh, the lines of the walls from the top view. So to do this, let me remove the roofs to show this better. So uh, let's see. So if you look at our uh, building from the top view, we see the walls as well as their thickness so i see a square shape these are the lines of exterior uh, walls and then these walls each one have a thickness so I will show this thickness see this one and then like for example uh, consider here we have a door and then I have uh, these windows on the back side on the on the right and left side and also on the back side Uh, so let's consider this as a door <clears throat> this is a floor plan okay so the next thing I need to know that 
that's our elevation. So let's see how many elevations do we have. For this one, we have four elevations. One, two, three, and four. We start with the front elevation. So you see, front elevation. This is the line for ground. And then I have those lines and I can extend these lines to show you more exactly what is it to be. So these are the walls, the edge of the walls. Then I have the roof. And this is the roof. And I have this door. And then Just to show the, yeah, how does it work. And uh, also our roof has a thickness. This is the front elevation. Then we have the right side elevation. So if I uh, turn it to the side, so I do this rotation and I will see this line, this line, so I can it at the same level then here we have the roof if I extend it this one our roof is like this and also I see the line for the roof and also the window Okay. So as you see here, we have a pitch. Maybe for example, um, four by 12 or six by 12 or eight. So I see this pitch here. We have these lines, but then the side elevation when we look at it, we see it like this. And uh, now we go to the rare elevation. So for the rare elevation, again, if I extend these lines, these are exterior walls. And then again, I have my roof and then windows and this is the rare and this was the right side And then this is the last one, left side elevation. Again, I extend those lines to show them in the same level.
windows on the same level. And yeah. And also this slide. left left elevation yeah that's it and then uh, we have another uh, drawing to do the next one is the section so the section uh, for the section we need to again remove these roofs so the section is a cut through the building from the top like this if I have this plane and I will cut the building this way from the top to bottom like this like this and I will show the section line in my plan like this So, this is a line here, but actually this is a plane, but because I'm showing in two-dimensional way, uh, this will be a line. And I will choose a name, section AA. And when we cut through the building, we look at it from the uh, front side. But the point is that when we cut this building we don't see this part at all because we are removing this we are cutting the building and when we remove this we don't see this elevation anymore we are looking at it from inside toward the back of the building so now we have Our walls again I can do it like this this is the exterior wall this is the exterior wall and this one is like our plan we see the thickness of the wall We may have uh, interior walls as well. Um, let's say like, for example, this one. Okay. So I will see this wall as well. And now I have the ceiling so when I'm uh, drawing the section I will the ceiling as well and then I see the roof so this is wall and this is the roof and also I see that uh, our section uh, line is going through the windows so I see the windows as well the windows are like the in, in, in the plan at uh, the floor plan now I have the section and this section is called a a section that's it and i can hatch the walls because those are sectional walls yeah this hatch shows that we are cutting these walls show it better but uh, generally we 
we draw the sectional lines with a, a, a thicker pen. Or if we draw them by AutoCAD, we choose the layers with different thicknesses. Yes, that's it. So here, we have floor plan, section, front elevation, right, left, and the rear elevation. That's it for today. I hope this will be useful for you. Uh, please uh, write comments for me. If you have any questions, please ask me. Uh, I would be happy to um, answer that right away if I know that. If not, I will do research on that and uh, I will discuss it um, in my next videos. And please, uh, if you like my uh, the material of my uh, YouTube channel, please uh, uh, subscribe my channel. And uh, I wish you have a great time. Thank you and have a good day.